M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Quick video here to back up your radio. A big thanks to the UV K5 IJV manual here. Thank you very much. Loads of links, excellent firmware. Um, read down through, there's a lot to read here, but to this video is just focusing on the K5 program for Windows that lets you read the configuration, read the calibration of your radio, save it, and then you can write it back uh, and it makes complete sense to do this before you ever change the firmware on your UV K5, K6 type radios. And it will also, the same program will actually write your firmware when you're in firmware mode. So the first thing is connect your USB cable in the normal way, turn on your radio. You can see I've got mine on there in the background. Then download the UV K5 program. Just click this square here. You'll get this program, accept it and then run in the normal way. And here it is there, we've already got it. I'm just gonna close it because we've already got it. So, and then we'll explain it to you. So the cable is plugged into my PC. There will be a shortcut, which you can see down here, right at the very bottom is a little black and white radio. It looks like a K5, it's called K5 program. Click it and then it will open. Now it will be looking to see that your radio is connected. And if you look here at the top, I'm on COM11. To find your COM port, just go right click your Windows Squares device manager, and it's a, just a Bofeng UV5R cable. And there it is there, COM11. Okay, it's already connected. And now we can, if you look here at the top, now I haven't touched any of this board rate. Maybe you might need to, but I haven't touched it. So let's just do it. So we're gonna go read configuration and straight away it's reading my, it's a UVK6 model, I know it's bright orange. It's reading the configuration and it will give us a file. We can name it, this is number three that I've done here. Save it, save that somewhere so you don't lose that. Now read calibration and it's reading it again, very quick. We'll call it three and then we'll save. So we've, we've backed up our radio and now to write it back, you just go write configuration find the three and click open and it writes it back. Same goes for the the um, the other item. Let's just wait for that to complete. That's complete. Right, write calibration. Look for the word calibration. Make sure you choose calibration. No, me, I chose it wrong. Uh, that's done, all good. And let's do the right configuration again. I just don't want to make sure that I chose the right one. Uh, right configuration. There it is there. <laughs> it knows when it's wrong anyway, so. Brilliant. So now let's say we want to do the firmware. We just, when this is finished, just make sure it's finished, it'll reboot. It does say complete now. We're gonna turn it off, unplug the programming cable, turn it off, plug the programming cable in, well, first of all, hold down the PTT, turn it on. We're in firmware mode, we've got a, a white torch on top. Push the cable firmly in, make sure that um, it's in your PC and all being seen well, which we've done now. You can see the bright torch there. And then we are gonna click right firmware. It lets us choose the firmware and look, it's right in the firmware. I'm pretty sure you can use this to write other firmware as well. That's it, what a brilliant program. So thanks for watching my channel. Just wanna show you quickly down here, there's a lot of information. This is, I'm, I'm not really teaching, this is Andreas, M0FXB, learning for myself. You've got the backup of calibration, portable radio updater as well here. Upload the IJV firmware. There's the cable you need, just a Bofun cable works for me. Um, and then you've got adjustable, adjusting the radio after update and then loads of instructions here, which I highly recommend you uh, look into. Look at that. Learn it because each of these different firmwares, whether it's IJF, whether IJV, sorry, whether it's Fagi, Exuma, one of 11, there's so many now, uh, but this is really good information. This link will be in the description and you can see there all your different tabs. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 7.3, and thanks very much to IJV Manual, 7.3, all the best.